Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Margarita and if you're not new, hi, hello and welcome back. For today's video, I am doing a full face beats hair too. That's why my hair looking a little flat. What was I just saying? So for today's video, I am doing a full face and hairstyle for Thanksgiving. Now, for this look, I'm kind of going for something that's like very like soft and subtle, nothing dramatic yet. So I posted on Instagram um, a poll saying, what do you do first, hair or makeup? I got 44% hair and 56% makeup. And I posted that about an hour ago and I'm gonna be doing my makeup first. So, before we get into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below and let's go ahead into the video. Also, don't forget a snack and a drink. My drink, I have the Red Bull, like always, and then I have Hot Cheetos in a baggie. Thank you to my tia Marisol, she sent me some Hot Cheetos. They are the yellow bag. So for brows, I am using the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Center, and this is like the best brow setter I've ever used. I pretty much just brush the product into my eyebrow, and I like shape the eyebrow how I want it, if that makes sense. So the next thing that I use for my eyebrows is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. And then what I like to do with this is the hair like strokes. And I do fill in the sparse areas throughout the eyebrow. All right, so next I'm grabbing some concealer. This is from Wet n Wild and I'm just gonna clean up my eyebrows and I am using a flat brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics just to like clean up under my brow. Even though that there's not much to clean up, I still want my brow bone to be like highlighted. So before I do the tape, I am going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Finish, Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So normally I would do it with clear tape, but I have to do it with like packaging tape. I'm gonna put this on the back side of my hand because I don't want it to have like that really sticky residue on my face. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like just two times. Now what I'm gonna do is cut this in half right here. And then the side that's like the crispy side, like the, the straight line side, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here. All right, so this is pretty much what I'm gonna be working with right here to have like that straight line. So for the eyeshadow palette, I'm using the Morphe 25B. And this is a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette. And uh, yeah, I know Margarita using eyeshadow palettes that are neutral as well. Yeah, don't worry. So I am using the BH Cosmetics brush number 6 and I'm going to go ahead into the shade Image, which is like a light brown shade. Just going to tap it off a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and just start working this color into my crease. And honestly, you can get as messy as you want here because the tape does like protect this part. I'm taking the shade Seek and I'm going to go ahead and pat that on the corner of the eye just to deepen it and I am going to blend this into that first color. So you can see that it's not a huge difference, it's something very light and subtle compared to nothing on my eye and with eyeshadow on my eye. Like I said, I want to make this simple. I am going in with some concealer, the same one Wet n Wild, and I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand and what I am going to do is a half cut crease. So with the half cut crease, you want to start in the inner corner, not like in the inner corner, but kind of like on your eyelid of the inner corner. And what I'm going to do is follow the eye shape or like I'm going to go up and start to make an arch. Okay, so right here I have a very subtle half cut crease going on. So now I'm taking this Lexi brush. It is the 246 Precision Crease Brush. I'm gonna pick up the shade Shy, which is like a lighter pale color, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that on top of where I just cut my crease. With the shade Seek, I'm gonna go ahead and blend the two colors right here together. 
right there you can see that it is very subtle it is very pretty you don't have to do too much to it literally i only used what three shades just to like achieve this look so you can stop right here but i want to do like a smoky wing eyeliner and i know every time i try this out it never works but since i have tape it might work so i'm taking the shade double which is like a chocolate brown and i'm patting it on top of my lash line and then what I'm gonna do is just like blend this out so I'm taking another dark shade and this is the shade effort which is this one's like a darker brown and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna see if it looks like there's a wing see this is why we test out things when we try new things out to see if it works oh yeah this one's working a lot better the darker shade all right, so I think I'm done. It looks pretty cute. I think it looks pretty cute. Now the next step is just to peel this off very gently and slowly. I don't know which way to peel it. Oh, look at how pretty and smooth that looks. Now the next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. I'm using the Revlon Eyelash Curler. This is honestly my favorite eyelash curler. So I saw this trick on TikTok. Her name is Emmy Combs, I believe. I don't know how long people have been like using this trick, but like when I saw her use it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is genius. So I'm gonna apply the eyelash glue on top of my lash line, and then I'm actually going to apply it onto my eyelashes. Once you pick the eyelash up and put it onto the glue, it's literally there, stuck in place. It's gonna be there all day. But yeah, so I am using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is my favorite lash glue. I run out of it so quickly. All right, so now I have eyelash glue on my lash line and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the eyelashes for the eyelashes I am using the color pop falsies and this is in dame so now that the eyelash has like been sitting there for like just a couple of minutes I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now so I'm starting with the inner corner and I'm just gonna directly apply it on top of the glue that I just put down honestly this will probably take you a couple of times to do it but once you actually get it down, like it is, it will stay there for like a while, like all day. Now that I have the eyelash on, I'm going in with mascara. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and this is like the best mascara you can buy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my real lashes and blend them in with the fake eyelashes. And I don't need to do too much since my eyelashes are like curled so they'll already kind of like be blended in, but just to make sure it is like blended in there. Shoot, I might do this for, for Thanksgiving. This is a really cute makeup look. It's very simple and elegant. So I'm only adding mascara to the top lashes, not the bottom lashes yet. All right, so I am done with the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back and we're gonna go ahead and slay our face. Okay, I am back. I finished up the other eye look. It is so cute. Look at how natural. If you don't wear foundation, um, you can literally just keep it here. But for me, I prefer having coverage on my face because I do have like a couple of like pimples around here and they're like I was like picking at them. Okay, so I'm gonna do like really like a light coverage foundation because I don't want to do it like too heavy. So I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is grab the Wet n Wild Concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and like spot conceal the places like onto my face where they're gonna need a little bit more coverage you know so all that you're seeing are not all pimples they're more of like beauty marks freckles and I'm just gonna lightly tap it over using my ring finger I'm not pressing too hard I just want to like grab the product and just kind of like blend it around so next i'm going in with some foundation this is in the shade buff biscuit and i'm using the morphe sponge and i'm just gonna go ahead and just scrape this onto here this is a clean sponge by the way all right now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and dot it around the face 
And I'm only going in with that one like scrape slash like scoop or whatever. And I'm just gonna apply it all over the face. The way it's smacking. <laughs> and then don't forget to blend down to your neck because you just wanna have it like even, like, oh, not even, but kind of like, you don't want to have like just the foundation straight, like just a straight line right here. And if I do need a little bit more foundation, I'll just go back in and just apply where I need it. All right, so pretty much that's it. Um, that's it for the foundation. So going in with some concealer, I'm literally only grabbing a little bit and I'm just going to make like a line up here and then like a dot right here. Not like a dot, but just like a line going down and a line going up. So I'm grabbing this small sponge, I'm taking the end of it right here where it's like flat and I'm gonna go ahead and just like make it like a lift on this side. I hope you can see, like I can see it, but I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the difference of this side of the face versus this side of the face where on this side, my right side, it's like lifted up so it's kind of giving me more of like that that lifted face looks and i do like going in with smaller sponges just because like it can get up into there but i do want to brighten up my face just a little bit so i'm taking the banana photo focus um loose powder from wet and wild and i'm going in with the small sponge on the flat side of it and i'm just gonna dip in there just a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and put it under my eye and what I'm going to do is press it into my skin. I don't want to let it sit there and bake. And then same thing on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and press it into the skin. And then my nose. What I like to do, I just grab what's in here on the cap. And then I put it like all over my nose because once I like kind of sculpt it, I'll have it ready. And honestly, you can use this powder all over the face. I'm just extra and I use like 20 different powders. I know this shade is way too light, but like it works for me, honestly. But it's because I also use bronzer. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade light. All I do is just dip into here, dip into with the brush, and I just pat it into the skin all over my face. And then I go in with the sponge and just kind of like press it more into the skin. Next thing is bronzer and I am using the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer. And I've never used it, so I'm packaging. I have no idea how dark this is going to be, so I'm going to use a little because since it is like a very soft look, I don't want my face to be like super like... I was about to say decked out. I don't want to say decked out. <laughs> I don't want my face to like overpower the eye makeup I have, if that makes sense. Oh, this bronzer smells like coconut. And it's not like overpowering. It's just very like, it's there. The scent is there. So I'm just using a brush. I know my mom sent me one, so thank you, mommy. Um, and I don't even know if it's for bronzer, but I'm using it for bronzer today. And I'm just gonna kind of like swirl once, twice, three times. I guess that's. <laughs> I didn't want to go in like three swirls. Okay, so I tapped it. I'm a swirler, like I, I swirl my makeup. So for the bronzer, my cheekbone is down here, but I want to go a little bit higher. So I'm gonna start up here and make my way down, but not too far. Oh wow, that is very, very, very dark. It's okay, that's why we blend it out. So, um, I don't know how much product's left on the brush, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my forehead. This is actually a really pretty bronzer. Oh my gosh. Tell me why this almost looks like a dupe to Hula. The next Thanksgiving video, I, you know I'm gonna have dramatic makeup. I'm gonna be that person that shows up to Thanksgiving all dramatic, decked out face. I'm using the BH Cosmetic Brush in number five, and I'm dipping it into the bronzer just a little bit tapping it off and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like sculpt out my nose very lightly I don't want anything 
too traumatic, like I said. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powder right here on the nose, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and sculpt my nose down right here. Before I wipe this off, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some highlight. I am using the Revolution Highlighter Reload, and this is in the shade Just My Type, and this is a beautiful highlight. Just swirl into it, because I'm a swirler. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it very lightly on top of like the cheekbone. Now applying highlight, I can go very crazy on it, but I wanna go very like simple and like subtle. So I had to take my sleeves off and just tie them in the back over there. Cause uh, it's gonna, I need my arms to move. So we're onto the hair. Um, I'm gonna do the lips last, just so like nothing gets stuck to it. So it's not like, you know? First thing you can see my hair is looking a little um, not voluminous, you know? So I'm taking the dry shampoo, not your mother's clean freak tapoca, 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 dry shampoo. I don't know. And I'm gonna just do them up. All right, so I have dry shampoo in my hair, and now I'm just pretty much gonna like mess around with my hair up here and just kind of like spread the product all through like the top of my head just so i can get like that voluminous back into my hair volume so i can get that volume back into my hair you can do whatever you want in your hair but i thought we could do something really cute i'm gonna go ahead and part my hair where i want it and pretty much it's gonna be like right here because that's kind of where i want to part it um and I'm gonna go ahead and take a strand, not like a strand, but I'm gonna take like a chunk of it. So like, yeah, that's, that's a good size. And I'm gonna do it on both sides and try to have it as even as possible. So I need to tie this part. Actually, I'm just gonna clip it. So I'm gonna clip these, these two strands up front. And then now for the back, I'll go ahead and do a half ponytail. I'm not really grabbing a whole bunch of hair. I'm just kind of grabbing like that like first little layer that's on top of my hair like instead of going like all the way over here and grabbing all this chunk i'm pretty much just grabbing what's on top of here can't find like a smoothing brush so i'm just gonna go in with this hair clip right here and i'm just gonna smooth it out and i'm probably gonna be picking up a little bit of hair which is okay Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hair tie and I'm gonna go ahead and just tie my hair. Pretty much like what was in my hand, that's what I'm tying down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull onto the hair and like puff it out. And then I don't want the hair tie to be showing, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab like small piece from the back of the ponytail and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around the hair tie now I'm grabbing these hair pins they look like bobby pins but they they're like opened in the middle and I'm just gonna kind I'm just gonna go ahead and just pin the little piece of hair. All right, so my hair is brushed out. Now it's onto the curling part, but I am using a hair straightener. You can actually just straighten your hair if you want, but I'm gonna kind of like curl my hair going out. So it's just kind of like, like that. <laughs> I had to change out the SD card. That's fun. I already warmed up my hair straightener. I have it at 390, which is kind of hot. I should probably bring it down to 365 at least. <laughs> And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the hair into the hair straightener and I'm going to go ahead and start slowly turning it and like clamping it. So I'm like curling my hair. I don't know how people do it on TikTok or like, I don't know, they just put the, the hair straightener straight into their hair with one strand they just go down and it curls all the way but that's pretty much the curl that I have and I'm going to go ahead and do that all over. Finally got done on one side. All right, on to the next side. Ah, 
All right, I got done with the sides now, and now I'm on to the ponytail. Now we got the top done, and then now we have this. All right, we did something here. Now you can leave your hair like this, like curled like that, but I kind of want to have it like that curly wave in my hair. So I'm taking a wide tooth comb and I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair and I'm gonna go ahead and just like pass through the hair once and then like throw it in the back. Now up here, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and tease my hair. And I don't have the brush, so I'm gonna go in with the white tooth comb. I don't know if it's really gonna do any teasing. It's like a white tooth comb. Oh, it looks like it's doing something. I'm not too sure. I don't want that volume up here. Or bird's nest, either way. I don't know, do you guys like turkey more? Or do you guys like ham? Cause I actually prefer ham over turkey. So, this is the baby who wanted to come in and say hi. Can you say hi, Mimi? Que preciosa, niña. Yes. Who is that? You looking at yourself in the mirror? Just kind of tease the hair. You just pretty much play around with how you want to keep it, like, styled. Now, on to the last part. I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. Okay, this kind of gives me, like, Ariana Grande hair vibes. And, um... Uh, I'm looking for it. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Milani Bahama Beige Lipstick. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video um, of like a soft glam for Thanksgiving or any type of day. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!